Hey everybody, welcome to the wonderful world of cookies. A cookie, if you don't know, basically speaking, it's information about a user stored in a user's web browser. That's why you might receive targeted advertisements, platforms such as YouTube, they might remember your browsing preferences, and you can store other non-sensitive data. Now, to create a cookie in PHP, we will use the set cookie function. It's actually pretty simple. Our cookies are stored as an associative array. First is the key. Our key will be favorite food. The second element is the value. My favorite food will be pizza. The third argument is an expiration time. Cookies typically expire after a certain amount of time. To set the time, we can use the time function, then add. This is in seconds. For one day, that would be 86,400 seconds. If you need your cookie to expire after two days, we can just multiply this by two. Then let me enclose these within parentheses just for clarity. Then the next argument is the file path. I'll use a forward slash for the default file path. And there we are. So I'm going to save this. Now, if we open up our web browser, I'm going to right click, go to inspect. You can find your cookies underneath application. Then go to cookies underneath storage. Oh, look at that, we have a cookie. The key is favorite food. The value is pizza. And there is an expiration date here too. There it is. Let's add a few more cookies. Set cookie favorite drink. I will set the value to be coffee. This cookie will expire after three days. There's our next cookie. One more. Favorite dessert. I will pick ice cream. This cookie will expire after four days. So 86,400 times four. There, we have three cookies. Favorite dessert. Favorite drink, favorite food. Now to delete a cookie, all you have to do is set the time to minus zero. So let's do that for all of these. Yeah, look at that. The cookies are gone now. Yeah, let's revert that back. And we have cookies again. Let's print each key value pair from all of our cookies. I will use a for each loop. We are accessing the cookie super global variable. Our cookies are stored as key value pairs. Using a for each loop, we can write as key arrow value. I will echo each key value pair. Key equals value then a break. Here are the three cookies we set. Favorite food equals pizza. Favorite drink equals coffee. Favorite dessert equals ice cream. To access one of the values, you would need the key. Maybe I will display an advertisement based on somebody's favorite food. Maybe we remember what their favorite food is. I will use the isSet function. isSet place it within an if statement, we will check within our cookies at the key of favorite food. If their favorite food key has a value, let's display it. Buy some, then let's access our cookie variable at the key of favorite food. Okay, else, echo, I don't know your favorite food. Our cookie for our favorite food is currently set. Let me get rid of this for each loop. If our favorite food key has a value that's set, We'll display an advertisement for their favorite food. Buy some pizza. 
If this cookie wasn't set, I'll let it expire by setting the time to minus zero. I don't know your favorite food. This cookie isn't set. We will execute the else clause. All right, everybody, so those are cookies. They are just information about a user stored in a user's web browser. These are used for targeted advertisements, browsing preferences, and other non-sensitive data. And well, everybody, that's an introduction to cookies in PHP.